This is D Brown, the Begotten Son, and today we're gonna dive within the sound wave of Love the Process. It's cold in the winter, that's nothing to a winner. I live for the grind, knowing that my life is mine. The loss is mine, yeah, the wins are mine. Life is too short, like videos back on Vine. When you're doing it for the grind, and your only sole focus is how hard you're going, your only sole focus is what you're doing, what you're putting in day in and day out, then you can really get centered with it and feel like, okay, whenever I win, that's my win, I did it. But whenever I lose, okay, fine, that's my loss. I'll take the loss. When you're not worrying about other people with the word they're thinking about you with it you're just like okay that's that's mine you know either way that's from me doing what I wanted to do that's from me putting in the actions at the end of the day you feel like win or lose it doesn't matter because my life is mine I don't I don't feel like I, I have it in somebody else's hands I, I'm not indebted to somebody else where it's like I have to do what somebody else want me to do in order for me to have a certain type of life it's I'm making my decisions and with my decisions I'm moving forward with my decisions so why should I care what a nigga think of me nobody above me see me in the field we can play the long game to the end of the road where we end up be tying it in from the beginning lines you know so that's why when you're focusing in on what you're doing then it's like why should I really care what somebody think of me when I know that I'm focusing in on building a certain goal building a certain dream and when you're building a certain dream whether it's here now or not the thing about it is that people are going to look and judge you off of what you have now and it's like but you don't see the bigger picture you don't see where I'm going with it but that's fine I'm not doing this for you anyway so why should I care what you think of me? And then nobody's above me as in we're all equal as people. We're, people are people. We're all the same. Yes, we have different attributes. Yes, we have different talents and skills. But at the end of the day, we have the same fears and the same same everything else. You know, we, we have the opportunity, same opportunities, you know. So it's like, why should I care where you're at, what your status is in life right now? That's fine. We can play this game till we, it's a long run. We can get to the end of the game and then we can see where we end up. You know, Let's, this, this is early in the game. Let's see at the end of the game what the score is type thing. Hold off on the bubbly, you don't have to hug me I know these niggas be acting like they really, really care But that heart's not here and I know that they don't love me And it ain't no problem, it ain't no thing Won't hold you liable, charge you straight to the game I credit you niggas for thickening my blood For thickening my skin, ready for any type of weather When, when people, when you, once again, when you're working on something that don't align with somebody else's views or somebody else's belief of what you supposed to be doing or what somebody's supposed to be doing to be to be successful or to to live the type of life that they think you should be living that's when friction starts to come in and people start to switch up and that's why i say you can hold the bubbly i know you know hug me but you really don't love me type thing where it's like, okay, you, you're giving hugs just because you know me, but really in the back of your mind, you have a lot of things that you're saying about me. Or to other people, you have a lot of things that you're saying about me and all that. So it's like, that's fine. I know where it comes from. And that's why I'm not going to hold you liable about it. Because when you do this, it becomes a lonely trek. If it's something that you're diving deep into, a niche that you're diving deep into, then you're gonna put a lot of effort in whatever you're doing. And seeing that you're putting a lot of effort into it, you're gonna to have to cut out a lot of other stuff that's gonna isolate you. So that causes problems. So it's like, okay, this is what happens. This is what happens for a lot of people who are strong enough to allow it to happen, you know, who are strong enough to get through it to the other side as they continue on to their goals. It's going to happen. So that's why I say charge it straight to the game. 
it's the part of the game, right? If you're not able to take this part of the game, then get out the game. But it's a part of the game. And I also finish it up with, you know, I credit you people out there. I credit you for, for being so cold towards, you know? When somebody being cold towards you, credit them if it's been happening and you're still going forward. Credit the fact that they helped you thickening up your blood, thickening up your skin so you become stronger. It's not about being a victim in this. It's about actually feeling like, okay, all these things are happening or all these people are turning it back on me. It's not something bad per se. It's more of, okay, I know I'm, I'm really digging down into what I'm doing and I'm going about it the right way. And if people turn their back on me or give me the cold shoulder, or that, that elusive no, like people are so afraid of a no and all that. It's like, embrace it because it's actually thickening up your blood for you to go forward faster, for you to stay stronger so you can be in the career path that you wanna be in and you're not gonna be soft. You can't get to the end of this destination and be soft. Like you have to be built up. All these experiences is there for you to be built up. I don't have to wonder if they feel this cause if I do I put my own, I stay in my zone. I don't have to wonder if they'll let me shine cause if I turn on then I'm always on. Yeah. I don't have to worry about if somebody's gonna allow me to be on or not or some somebody's gonna allow me to shine or something like that or if I if, if if they're loving what I'm doing because if I turn myself on then I'm always on and then if I if I if I do it for my own if I do it for for what resonates me which I know there's a tribe out there that re resonates with you too then I'm always on you know if I turn myself on, if I if, if I do it for my own, then I'm always on. Like it's about staying on. You dim yourself when you start worrying about what other people think. When you start worrying about what other people are doing behind your back, saying about you behind your back, you start to dim yourself due to that type of peer pressure and you pull back. But instead of pulling back, you stay firm within yourself and go forward with that, then boom, you staying on. Yeah. Gotta fall in love with the process. See, I'm all in love with the process. Gotta fall in love with the process. See, I'm all in love with the process. Never mind what a nigga gotta say, cuz they can see I'm all in love with the process. Simple thought, and of course, it's the whole thing that bodies the whole song, you know. When you, once again, you just become at peace with yourself and stay insular with everything. And you actually fall in love with the process okay not just about the destination you're going not just about the goal where where you want to get to what you want to get yes you want to get that that's nothing wrong with that but when it's when you're just only seeing that how far you are away from your goal if you're seeing how many setbacks you have towards whatever you're getting then you're going to get frustrated but if you actually fall in love with the process to get it, then you can actually enjoy the journey before you even get to the destination. You do it for an image, going by a new whip. How good do you look in it? What they gonna say when they see you in it? Niggas gonna still hate, niggas gonna still find something that's wrong with it. Gonna have to put you back in line. Second verse right here, I, I start this off with, you know, when, when people are actually thinking about what other people think about them then they start to do things that they think is going to impress the people around them and the funny part about it is that you know you you go and you and you grab the new whip and all that because you know that now what people want to say about this you know you want to pull up and you want to stop and actually it's like people will look and they might be like oh dad my man did that or whatever some might be impressed but at the same time just like ask anybody who, who who got on the famous tip and all that the haters and their friends start to come out and be like oh he think he big now or she thinks she all that you know so with with the second verse is I, i'm just pointing out the whole fact of you know you you get these things to impress your friends and at the end of the day 
you're not you, you're not really impressing them. You ask for some of them, you're actually turning them off, and they actually want to talk about you behind your back. And guess what? If you didn't get that, and actually you was doing something and you failed, they're going to talk about you behind your back. It's a lose lose situation. So why try to try to show off for people who are going to talk about you no matter what? <laughs> you know, so that right there, I, I point that out that no matter what you do, whether you win or whether you lose, they're going to try to find a way to keep you in line. They're going to try to find a way to put you back in line, especially if you win. Like, oh, we're going to have to knock him down because he's feeling himself type thing. So it's like, instead of, instead of doing all that, once again, you got to go within and do things for yourself. You win and they envy you. Losing, they talk about you. Blurred lines of friend to foe. What's real, I just don't know. Grab the mirror and it's filled with smoke. Hugs feel like a magic show. And you keep going back like an addict, though. Are you sincere or is it just a joke? So that right there, you know, I grab the mirror and it's filled with smoke. The whole, your hugs feel like a magic show. Whereas that, that, that thing when it comes to when they when they talk about magic and magicians and all that and they say it's all smoke and mirrors so that's why i said grab the mirrors is filled with smoke so you're thinking you're looking at something and then boom it's just nice a nice magic trick that's going on when you hug somebody and it, it, it feels like a magic show where it's more like i don't know if this guy is sincere or is he just just putting on the front putting on the show and he's just making it seem like something that is not you know type thing and, and you, it's hard to see if somebody's sincere but at the same time for that person that i was talking about in the beginning of this second verse it's like you know these things you feel these things you even say it to to people close to you you feel it and you say like oh, i know that dude be this and that but you keep going back to these people wanting approval knowing that it's something feels off but you keep going back wanting some type of approval from them like that's 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 weird that's that's hard that says something for you like okay now you gotta ask yourself why am i keep going back like this now that's on going a long running road they hot then they cold i advise you get off that road i do because i love it i love what i do no opinions above it can't hear you talking to who I advise you to get off that road. You know, that's a long winding road that is going to take you somewhere that you don't want to end up, you know, so get off that road. And that's why I say I do because I love it. I love what I do. When you love what you do, when you're just in love with the process, you know, you just keep on going. You just keep on pushing. Start to turn off listening from what critics have to say. And because of that, you know, you can't hear them. So that's why I say I can't hear you. You're talking to who? Like, I don't hear what you're saying because I know I'm doing good and I love what I'm doing. So, yes, it may be unconventional, but it's fine because I'm enjoying the process. So I'm going to keep on doing that. Keep the blinders on. Put some, put some noise cancellation headphones on and stay in my zone. Head down and I feel the bliss. If I look up, then I feel the hit. Like concerns aiming at your nose. If you deep dwelling, that'll leave you froze. When your head's down and you're working, when you're just working and going hard and you have your head down working, then you you feel you whether you're working hard and you could you could be working hard and you could be tired. But at the end of it all, end of it all, you're gonna feel good. You're gonna feel like you're accomplishing something. You're gonna feel energized in the process when your head's down but when you look up to see what everybody else is doing to see what everybody else is saying that's when you get hit that's when you get the concerns aiming at your nose like you get hit in this you get smacked in the face by all the concerns that people are saying and you get smacked in the face about the things that you're worrying about and that you the things that you're thinking about all your own concerns you you start to have downtime where you're thinking and and just being like oh but i need to do this or i haven't done this or this is so i, I don't know how i'm gonna do this all that you know you start to think of all these things and it slows you down it brings you to a halt now you you start to get depressed and and or in a sloth like mode and you don't want to get back to work you just want to dwell on the things that you know 
you can change, but instead of working to change it, putting your head down to change it, you're just sitting there and dwelling. So don't do that, just keep your head down and keep working at it. So that's Love the Process right there. And um, you can actually find that on all music streaming platforms, Apple Music, Spotify, wherever you stream your music, or you can save the playlist, hashtag Begotten Sunday. And from there, you will actually find all the songs I'm dropping every week, saying that I'm producing, performing, and mixing a new song every week. You can find it right there. And um, with that said, we're going to keep on banging this thing out. And I'm D. Brown, Begotten Son, and I'm out.